Hey guys, Lee here from the Slushy Specialists. Today we're going to run you through how to dismantle and clean the brass FBM slushy machine. It makes life easier to set yourself up with two buckets, one to empty the contents and the other one to place all the components require cleaning, a chucks cloth, a dry tea towel, some food grade lubricant and a bucket of water. Each machine from IcyMate comes with a laminated quick start and cleaning guide and a large tube of food grade lubricant. I'm going to start by emptying the machine. This is best done when the machine is on and turning in liquid form and when you try and run the mix as low as you can. So we're going to get the bucket and empty the contents by opening the handle. We can now turn the machine off. So we're going to turn this particular side off. Once the content is empty, we can remove the flavour label, we can remove the lid, we can get a warm, damp chucks cloth and give it a good wipe over on the underside. Well. We do this by pushing it up and pulling it towards you. It's handy to have that bucket ready, so we can, what we can do is pop it straight into the bucket just to catch any excess liquid. Very strong magnet. We want to take away both the augers. So we pull, just get our fingers in there and give it a good pull. You might have some excess liquid that will come out. That's all right. Once the augers are out, they can be taken apart and cleaned. The rear of the machine, you've got a rear tank seal. We just take that particular one off and that goes in the bucket to be washed as well. We'll get our warm chucks cloth and give the machine a good wipe over down the center barrel at the back. If you are experiencing leaks, it is because of the rear of the machine not being 100% clean. After we're finished wiping everything over, we can now remove the drip tray Get that one cleaned and we can now replace it. Now all the components have been cleaned, it's time to reassemble the machine. We're going to get our bucket of water from before, get our rear tank seal and we just want to make sure this one's wet. So we apply this on wet, starting at the bottom and slowly working our way around. We can get the inner magnetic auger, some food grade lubricant. We just put on the inside of that auger and we will put it in, making sure we hold it nice and firm and holding it because it has a very strong magnet. There we go. We don't want to let it go, otherwise it will do damage to the rear of the machine. The outer auger, the spiral, that will go on and we just want to line that up, give it a little wiggle to make sure it clicks into position with the inner magnetic auger. Next is to replace the bowl. We want to get a bit of water, put it around the edge to create that suction with that rear seal. And the trick here is when you put it on, push it in in one firm motion, just in and down. And so those two little prongs will click into place. Finally, we've got the tap. Just gonna get the food grade lubricant and we're just going to pop that around the two o-rings this is going to slide straight into the nozzle and you want to make sure the spring is just in front of the bowl the tap pin will, will go through once all the holes lined up and just give it a pull just so you know it glides nice and smoothly and finally the lid that will just slip on top and voila, the machine has been assembled. It is very important to regularly clean the condenser filter by undoing the thumb screws, removing the panel on the left hand side, and cleaning out the filter. Make sure the machine is off 
so it does not suck the dust straight back in. This is like the lungs of the machine and allows the machine to freeze a lot quicker and a lot more efficiently. So you just wanna make sure that's really nice and clean. If we can be of any further assistance, please feel free to reach out um, on our website uh, on the slushyspecialists.com.au or you can give us a call on 1300 1 slush. Have a great day.